Okay guys, let's take a look at an armbar escape. Really good one, Gila's. Very technical move. Everybody needs some good arm lock escapes because there's nothing to grab when you're the guy on bottom getting your uh, arm attack. You know, you don't have a gi, okay? I'm attacking the uh, opponent's arm here. Look, here. If he doesn't hold on to something, I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna lay back, I'm gonna finish this guy. So the first thing he's thinking about is definitely grabbing, okay? A lot of guys grab like this, and, and not a bad idea to do this, okay? But, but basically, all you're doing here is defending, and uh, you're not really offering anything in terms of getting out. So the guy on top who's here is gonna have a little bit of an advantage over you because he's gonna start to work his movements, you know, to, to unlock that or whatever he's gonna do, okay? So just holding your arms, not a good idea, okay? Sometimes just for a momentary la uh, hold so that you don't get arm bar real quick and you can switch this to a different position, it's okay, you know? Grab both wrists like this, all right? Uh, when, I'm, when I'm attacking the arm, what he wants to do is he's gonna do like a matalion, okay? He's gonna grab here, okay? Now he's gonna lock that. This hand here is gonna go under my knee, okay? So I'm attacking, he's gonna matalion, gonna come under and he's gonna hold his elbows stay tight so when I pull it's very difficult for me he does not want to stay here for very long though because eventually you know uh, we're uh, gilas sweat whatever he'll start to slip uh, strong maybe I'm gonna start to do some good attacks here okay but he's gonna start to try to escape all right so I'm here okay and uh, what he's gonna do again one this comes under my leg, like this, all right? Now from here, he needs to escape. Problem is my feet are close together, my knees are close together, so him turning into me, a little bit difficult at this time, all right? He's gonna actually physically walk away from me, and at the same time he walks away, his arms are gonna push my legs this way. It's gonna be hard for him just to throw my leg over, but if he pushes my leg and keeps it at least where it's at, and he with, walks away with his feet, he can get his head in the center, and that's what he wants to do. So he starts to walk away like that. Look, 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 and it's hard for me to defend that. Now, as soon as he gets his head in the center, this hand went from being just cupping to that side to being a little bit in the front where it can push my leg this way. So now when I try to come back, look, I can't come back anymore. See, he, he made it to here. Now what he's gonna do is lift his legs straight up, and he's gonna use momentum. When he comes back down, his legs are gonna to come to this side and he's gonna give a big push with his leg and he's gonna let go here and yank his arm out, okay? Go ahead, and he's gonna come out of there, okay? When you do this move, you're gonna feel very vulnerable for a second and you're gonna to try to do this move holding. You don't wanna hold. You actually physically wanna let go and give me the arm. If you've got my legs open and you're, you're turning, you're gonna get out. You have to trust the position, not to trust your instinct on here. That's what you're looking for, okay? Uh, his body, his legs are coming down this way. And when his legs come down, he's gonna use that momentum for his upper body to scoot as far away from me as he can. This is gonna open up and he's gonna get out because my legs are gonna be like this and he's gonna scoot far away, okay? So from the beginning, I go to attack his arm, he grabs it here, works his way under, keeping your elbows tight, okay? Now it's very hard for me to, to do anything here, okay? He's gonna walk away with his feet and push, and now this hand is in the front of my leg, his leg's gonna come up off the ground. As they go this way, his upper body's gonna scoot, he's gonna push and explode out that way. This will, will, will open up, it'll, it'll unlock. Go ahead, just like that, and he's gonna be out. I cannot arm bar this guy, even if he got caught here for a second, he's gonna, as he's scooting out, he's gonna get away from this position. It's not a strong one, because my legs are too far open, okay? One more time. I attack the arm, grab it. Good, like this, uh, scoot away, leg up, explode out. And he's out of the arm bar position. Look, he's still got my legs, so I'm not gonna triangle him. It's hard for me to get on top, and he's gonna keep scooting, scooting, scooting. He's gonna put me either in the guard, or he's gonna go to his knees off of a scramble. That's what we're looking at. All right, one more time, please. Let's look at this position now. Sometimes, uh, for me to defend this move, I'm gonna have to do some things that are gonna open up other avenues. When I defend a move, it opens up 
a, a different escape for my opponent, okay? Because all I'm thinking of is defending against this move here. Now, if you'll notice, when I'm here, and he got the same position, and I'm, I'm using my right arm, okay, to attack him, all right? And now I'm going to cross my feet, and I'm very strong. I'm going to keep my legs as tight as possible. And he still might get away uh, doing this position, okay? But I'm having to defend this move so much that maybe it's going to open up something more for him. I lock my legs together, and I start pulling them back. Notice how I'm using my right arm, okay? If I'm using my left arm, it's going to be a little bit different, all right? Because I'm using my right arm, I don't have my arm to post here. Okay, this is a good pose for me, for him. If he sat up on me, I, I wouldn't go anywhere, okay? You, you being the person on bottom defending has to see what he's using against you, all right? My right arm through, no post arm on that side. I have a post arm here, but nothing here. I have my legs locked, and when I start to pull, he's gonna use that to his advantage. He's gonna lift his legs up in the air, okay? Kind of coming over here to, to one side, Okay, and now he's gonna come back to me and he's gonna time it as I'm pulling and he's gonna sit up. He's gonna do a sit up to his, to his right side. So I'm pulling and he comes on top of me like this and, and he's gonna get out, okay? One more time. Feel your opponent. You have to get comfortable. The first thing is to not get arm locked, okay? Do that Mataleon, get in here. Elbows tight, everything looks good. Look, he notices right away I'm using my right arm, okay? Therefore, I don't have a post to that side, all right? He's not gonna sit up now because I'm not pulling, so maybe he's gonna try to escape. But when I wanna attack this arm, I'm gonna have to pull. Now look at the motion of me pulling. The motion of me pulling is me laying back. He wants to use that. I'm laying back and he's gonna sit up, which is gonna help him to, to go on top, okay? Pulling, his legs come up. He goes all the way to his knees. He still has a good hold here. And slowly he's going to get his elbow out. He's going to stack me. He'll do an escape from here. And that's when he's going to get away. And now he's achieved the top position. Okay? One more time, please. Very critical that you guys defend the arm immediately. Okay? Grab the arm. Get that Mataleo in there if you can. Keep your elbows in tight and start doing your escapes from there. Guys, even with a really good arm lock escape, sometimes something's going to go wrong, okay? Uh, you went to get the Mataleon on your arms, slipped out. Or I, I, I did the arm lock so quick, you never even had a chance to bend your arm. Your opponent got your arm, it's almost straight already, and he's laying back for it, okay? Now, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. Because the, the guy is gilas, it's harder for him to control your arm. You know, there's not as much... Uh, friction, you know, with gi pants and, and gi tops, and I can't grab his gi pants to keep him from rolling out or something, okay? So we're going to use that to our advantage here, all right? Same thing, I have this guy in an arm lock position. Before he had a chance to really defend it, I'm up here, and I'm pulling it back, okay? Or I was mounted, I put my hands on him, swiveled around, and, and if he does nothing, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to lay all the way back. I'm going to lift my hips up, and it's going to tap them out, okay? This is the uh, last chance to get out, actually. This is a really good escape, and there's, there's a potential, a good potential for escaping. On the street, there is no tapping out, so you need to know this, because uh, you can tap, but the guy knows jiu-jitsu maybe a little bit. He doesn't care. He's going to break your arm, okay? At the fight, this means the end of the fight. You know, he's going to break your arm. So you have to, to do something 100% to get out. Okay, I'm going to get out because uh, I know the consequences are severe ligament damage, okay, or me tapping out, and, and nobody wants that. Okay, so when I have the guy's arm here, I'm going to lay back, and he's going to use this kind of to, to his advantage. He's going to take his thumb, and he's going to turn it this way, like a hitchhiker, okay? This is the uh, last chance hitchhiker. He's going to turn it into me. So the thumb here will turn this way, okay? Just like you're gonna hitchhike, that's what you think about. When you get out, hitchhike. Left arm, hitchhike to this side, okay? That's something's gonna help you know which way to roll. You're not gonna try to roll into me, you're actually gonna walk away from me and go to your knees away from me as you turn your elbow and hitchhike out, okay? 
The time to do this is as he's straightening your arm. If it, your arm is bent, it's kind of hard. The straighter it gets, the easier it gets, which is good, okay? He wants to hitchhike, and he wants to put his hand to this side of my body if possible, okay? Like this. See what I just did? So when I'm laying back, he can't stop the fact that I'm laying him back, but he does have a little bit of control on what side his arm is going to be on. He wants it on the side that's closest to his head, no matter, you know? If it's this side, it's going to be here. Left side would be over there, okay? So as I lay back, he's going to hitchhike, and he's going to start to go to his knees all the way around, all the way around, and he's going to get out just like that, okay? One thing you gotta remember from this move, go ahead and grab me for a second, is that I wanna actually physically feed myself deeper into him, okay? Into his arm lock as I turn, all right? I'm here, and as he's laying back, hitchhike, look at the bridge I make. See, and I, I give him even more arm than he expected, okay? I don't wanna be over here too much. Turn. Turn, 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 get out. When I'm coming back up from it, I have to be very careful to not get caught in this guy's triangle as I come up. So after I know that I'm getting out, my left hand comes in with me, okay? So I don't spin out of it, and he goes, thank you very much, I got you in a triangle now, okay? Let's take a look at that little time. Look at the foot movement. This is the uh, critical piece, okay? You want to Put, position your arm in the correct position, but you also have to have that foot movement and a complete turn from your shoulder, okay? Turning into me. I'm here with the guy. Look, I'm laying back. He's gonna hitchhike his hips up, and he turns out, and see how he brought his hand in close by his head, his secondary hand? Then I wasn't able to triangle this guy. He's back inside. That's what he's looking for. Let's try one more time. Good drill for you guys to do it. Just a little bit. Good, good drill for you guys to do it and start feeling comfortable with it is have a guy mounted, uh, both hands on you like a pommel horse, attack the arm right away, and you spin out right away from it. Okay? So we'll do it kind of like a little bit quicker. And remember, guys, when you spin out, your feet are on the ground and your hips are off the ground. Okay? Your hips are up high so that you can get a good twist. Okay? Look, he's gonna put his hands on me. I'm gonna be here. Just like that. One, two. I'm gonna go quick for an arm lock and he's gonna spin out. Be careful when you're drilling this so that you don't crank his arm real quick until he gets the motion down, okay? Look, 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 look. The big thing here big thing here is that as your arm is straightening, you're turning. You're getting away from your opponent. He's got a plan for your arm, which involves harm. You don't want that. Your arm is straightening, your thumb turns, hitchhiker, okay? Your hips are off the ground, and then your feet walk, and you go to your knees with your feet. You don't lay down flat. Turn and get out. Get good at this one because it can save you.